to continue feeding their neighbors in need. That's the mission of food banks here at home and also across the nation. They're doing a good job, but trying to meet that demand is really proving to be difficult at this time. Reporter Julio Vila explains why and shows us how some folks are helping. Food banks across the region and even across the nation are experiencing a problem right now. March and April is the beginning of when we start seeing a, a significant decrease in donations. Karen Joyner is the CEO of the Virginia Peninsula Food Bank, who tells us food banks rely heavily on donations from residents and grocery store partners to replenish their stock. Throw in a continuing pandemic, the situation is harder. And something else that's hard for food banks is getting fresh produce. So when we don't get that and even when we do get that, we buy a lot of produce throughout the year, and we always have. That's where community gardens, like the Fred Hewitt Community Garden in Norfolk, come in. This, this garden is uh, basically providing food uh, in the spring and fall to the food bank. The garden grows a variety of vegetables, such as tomatoes, potatoes, and onions, to support their local food banks. Last year, we planted 400 uh, seedling plants of different varieties. Well, the onions are grown now. That's a, a crop that we can go through the fall. And we've got three beds we designate for potatoes. But this garden and others like it aren't just helping now. We, we plan on growing for Thanksgiving for them so that they will have abundance of, of green vegetables and, and, uh, and, and Christmas. We love to see uh, these individual farmers and families um, you know take the time to think of the food bank when they have excess produce in norfolk julio avila news three